That yellow circle above the so-called sun is the second sun. You can tell it's not the lens flare because as I move the camera in a circle, the lens flare moves around the sun in a circle. You can also see that there are two lens flares, a larger one above and a smaller one below. Also, the pink circle in the middle of the big bright white light is often picked up as a black circle in what they call the sun simulator. The only way I detected this was filming these two fires over there that have started simultaneously and have been burning for about an hour. And I noticed the sun start to flicker when I'm zoomed in at a certain rate. And when you zoom right there, you can see the yellow circle just at the top of the glare. If you zoom in, it gains distance between the glare and the yellow circle. If you zoom out, the glare engulfs the yellow circle and you can no longer see the yellow circle. Oh, there for a second. You can see a halo around the glare. Mr. MB3, oh, and in the lens flare, you can actually see three now. A purple lens flare, a yellow lens flare, and possibly a third one. Over there near the bright yellow dot, just up and to the right of the bright yellow dot, is a faint yellow dot. The purple lens flare... I'm not even going to try and act like I know what I'm seeing right now, because <laughs> I don't. But what I know is that purple lens flare is probably associated with that purplish circle in the middle and what appears to be the sun has another circle right above it. So there is some sort of technology working up there. I'm going to include Mr. MB3's video that he did showing that the sun is flickering which is what it started doing when I was filming the fire, which drew my attention to the sun. And I thought it only does it when you zoom in, but at this point, it doesn't do it. And that purple lens flare, that was an anomaly. It's hard to catch that one. So there's the flickering that first caught my attention. And at first you would think, well, that's just a matter of the camera malfunctioning. The camera doesn't know what to do, so it's trying to focus. And it only happens when you zoom in. But that purple lens flare that we saw a second ago, that could be the black sun emitting black light, which is violet or ultraviolet. I'm going to, going to include the TV commercial for AO Electronics, Delivering Tomorrow, is their motto that they put. And they show a couple of guys, the sun starts flickering and everyone in the town starts noticing it. And so a couple of repairmen go to the warehouse and pick up a bulb for the sun. And drive their repair van out to the sun and replace it. There's also a very similar video that's only 23 seconds long and it's titled the 2017 eclipse explained in 23 seconds where it shows a couple of guys go and replace the bulb in the sun and it's done by a guy who specializes in optical illusions like a magician But yeah, that purple lens flare that was on there for a minute. No matter where I zoom into, how deep I zoom into it, I can't get it to pick up that purple lens flare again. That was a very unique anomaly. Oh, there it is. There it is. Two lights, the yellow one and the purple one. The lens flares to the left of the sun. Also, the halo around the sun. Lens flare always is a reflection of the actual light source itself. So if the light is yellow, the lens flare will be yellow. If the light is purple, the lens flare will be purple. 
And right now there's clearly a purple lens flare. I don't want to mess with it too much, but I'd like to get a little closer. Look at that. Purple lens flare. Gotta go. But the main attraction is the second sun back there behind the glare of the sun simulator, which you know is not a lens flare because it does not move as I move the camera. The lens flare moves when you move the camera always. And if it does not move, that means it's an actual light source in the sky. And since we know that's a light source in the sky that's artificial with a pink circle in the middle and a bright white glare around it to prevent us from being able to see what's really going on up there, it lends credence to the idea that the flickering might not just be a camera anomaly, but a result of that technology. It may have a flicker rate to it that appears like a steady light to the naked eye. There's my purple lens flare again. I'm going to try and get a little closer in on it. Oh, I just messed it up. There we go. It's still there. Now back in on the uh, the second sun. Come on, where is it? Man, their glare technology is getting better. There we go. That's not a lens flare. That's a second light source in the sky behind the giant white glare of NASA's glare technology, which is what Final Days Lady calls it, NASA's glare technology, to keep us from being able to see what's happening in the sky. Like, one day the sun will leave us all behind, maybe the sun, because there's a dead star that came into our solar system, and the sun is electromagnetic, Therefore, like putting a dead battery next to a 100% charged battery, it makes them both even out at 50%. So the dead star coming in next to ours would make ours glow much dimmer. And in order to conceal that from people, you need to put a sun simulator up there. I guess I'll try it again tomorrow and see if I get the same effect. Because that's definitely a second sun. My first second sun video. Mom's going to be so proud. 